Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're looking at how you would model a real life situation and look at optimization using differentiation. So we're going to answer questions from exercise 12k here. So remember when we work out the differential we're effectively working out as a small change in y divided by a small change in x. So uh, the differential that represents the rate of change with respect to x um, with respect to y. Um, so it's, it is possible to replace y and x with real life quantities that are changing in order to model a situation mathematically. So for example, um, to the right is a water tank and the volume is constantly changing over time. So if V represents the volume in litres and T represents time, then the volume of this, um, of this tank of water is a function of time if the water keeps on sip sipping in over time. <clears throat> so the, if the volume is a function over time, then the differential that represents the rate at which the volume is changing over time can be represented like this. dv by dt equals f dash of x. Um, so let's have a little look at a question here. So given that the volume v in centimetres cubes is expanding uh, as a sphere is related to the radius by the formula v equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Find the rate of change of the volume with respect to the radius uh, at the instance when the radius is 5. So what we can think about here is we're effectively filling up maybe a water balloon that's modelled as a sphere um, that's uh, following this formula here of 4 thirds pi r cubed. So what we're looking for here is the key phrase here is the rate of change of volume with respect to the radius. Now when you see a question that's like this, this clue here means that you need to now differentiate. So differentiate v with respect to r, so we're doing using different letters here but still the same principle applies. 3 times the 4 thirds will give us uh, 4 and then pi r squared. And what we're looking for here now is the rate of change when the um, radius is 5 centimetres. So all we now need to do is just plug in the value of r equals 5 and we get uh, 314 or 100 pi. Okay, so it's this key phrase here that's going to define this chapter here. Finds the rate of change of volume with respect to the radius um, or, or some other phrase of rate of change and that means differentiate. Okay so uh, let's have a look at a slightly more difficult question here. A large tank is shown from uh, 54 meters squared um, of sheet metal so that's the surface area. Uh, it has no top. Okay okay. Um, show that the volume of the tank of water can be given by v equals 18x minus 2 thirds x cubed. So what we should be able to do then is from our little diagram here and the information that we have a, a surface area of 54 metres squared is create this formula here. We're going to get rid of y by rearranging a, a surface area formula and then substituting it into the volume formula. So here we can think of the volume as the area of the cross section x squared times the length which is y. So that's x squared y. And the surface area where well, it's going to have two... Uh, ends here and here so that's going to be 2x squared in total and it's going to have then three sides one at the front here one on the bottom and one round the back so that's going to be three lots of x times y okay but well, we know the value of the surface area that's 54 okay so we can rearrange this and give us a 54 equals 2x squared plus 3xy so subtract the 2x, what we were trying to do here is make y the subject and we get this expression here, 54 minus 2x squared over 3x and now what we can do is we can bring in the formula for the volume and substitute this expression in here. So this is a key feature of these types of questions, they'll give you um, a surface area and a volume or maybe they'll give you just one and they'll ask you to rearrange to make a letter the subject and then substitute it into the formula of the other surface area or volume question. 
So what we can do here now is expand the brackets and simplify our fractions. We've got to try and make it look like our final answer here. So let's make sure we finish off with that. V equals 18x minus 2 thirds x cubed. So the first thing we did here was we found the volume, the surface area, and we set that equal to 54. Then we rearranged to make y the subject, and then we substituted that into the formula for the volume and found our answer. Okay, the next part of this question here now, the reason we've done this is that we can maximize the volume of the tank. So what we now need to do here is if we're maximizing the volume here, and if we think of this as a volume function with respect to x, then we want to find the maximum point here. Effectively, what we want to do is find a turning point um, on this graph here. So what will happen as x gets greater and greater and greater, the volume will start increasing. But as get x gets to this critical point here, as x gets bigger, then y therefore is going to have to start getting smaller. So then the volume will start decreasing. Okay, so what we want to do here is find a stationary point. So find the maximum, think stationary point. Okay, so what we have to do here to find a stationary point, remember, is to differentiate and set that equal to zero. So set that equal to zero, so it's 18 minus 2x squared equals 8. Rearrange this, divide through by 2 and square root your answer, and you get x is positive or negative 3. Now, let's just take the positive version here as x is the length of a side, so x is equal to 3. Okay, so at the critical point when x is 3, <clears throat> the volume is going to be maximised. Um, so find the maximum volume, where now all we have to do is just substitute in x equals 3, and we get v equals 36. <clears throat> right, okay then, so here is another question here. Have a go, have, pause the video and have a go at this one. Right, okay, let's have a go at this question here then. So the displacement S of a car with a fixed point at time t seconds is given by the formula S equals t squared plus 8t. <coughs> Find the rate of change of the displacement with respect to time at the point when t equals 5. Now, what we need to do here is differentiate with respect to time. So it's going to be ds by dt equals 2t plus 8. Now when t equals 5, we're going to get here ds by dt equals 18. Now this is quite interesting actually because the rate of change that you displace by is actually used for the velocity. So in this case here the velocity is 18 meters per second squared. If you think if you're changing your distance, then you're moving, and that is your velocity. Okay. Right, thanks very much for watching. Have lots of practice on these types of questions, because they do appear quite frequently in the exams. So have a practice of them. They are quite challenging, so do persevere through the difficult ones, and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Right, thanks for watching.